Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you and describe this blog that I have created uh, for the students in the Department of English. Uh, as you can see, the address is like this. So the web address is English Studies Info. Dot dot org. You go here, and the first thing you can see is that you have here the categories of the posts that are published regularly. The categories here you can have four announcements and categorized useful links and workshops. Another component of this blog is these links that I post here so far I'm posting links related to e-learning so you can have here some grammar one exercises using uh, Google Forms uh, here you can link by one of our students in semester one another one here by the same student grammar exercises and then you can see here that I have posted some of the exercises related to grammar one course for semester one and these exercises are related to the textbook that we are doing in uh, this subject uh, called understanding news in English grammar so you can see exercise one two three and four and more exercises will be posted in due time it takes time to do the preparation for these exercises so I'm going to try my best to do that very soon then you can have here the archives every time you go here to this blog you are going to find that the newest publication is on the top so here you have the first publication which is grammar one explanations and here you can find a kind of table of contents of some of the video tutorial tutorials explaining what we deal with concerning grammar tenses in class for example you click here and then you are going to be taken to this video what you can do is simply click on this play button in order to listen to the guy explaining some of the components uh, that are included in this chart here for example let's listen to this Hello, I'm Mr. Verb Tense System. I'm glad to meet you. I'd like to do a little about myself. I'm just a regular fellow. Some people may think I'm disorganized and confusing, but I'm not. I'm very well organized, I assure you. I work, I worked, I am working, I have worked, I had been working. There's a pattern behind the form and meaning of all those verbs. In this chapter, I'm going to show you the whole organized system of English verb tenses. How that... Okay, so this is an example of the many uh, video tutorials that I have posted here. So here you can find videos about uh, simple tenses, uh, another one here about the regular, regular verbs, Another one here about the present perfect progressive, uh, future progressive, uh, and so on and so forth. In addition to these grammar explanations in the, using video tutorials, you can find here that from time to time I post some of the new links that I can think are useful for you, that you can use for preparing and uh, doing more practice in the grammar, uh, uh, particularly at this moment. You can also hear some uh, some announcements. I regularly pronounce uh, post some announcements, like this one here. And do you have these announcements for a workshop? And this announcement here. So this is way how this kind of blog is organized. Okay, and I hope that you will benefit from it and find it useful for you. Thank you very much.